My name is Yuri Lowenthal, and on uh, Ben 10 Alien Force, I play uh, Ben Tennyson at age 15. Piece of cake. Ben 10 is just any average teenager. He's any average 15-year-old. Um, the only difference is he has this watch who can kind of turn him into any alien in the universe. I am Dee Baker. I am the voices of the aliens in Ben 10 Alien Force. and in charge. The most challenging part of recording for a video game, one is definitely being alone, as you normally are in this situation, and having to, to work alone and create everything uh, just with the help of the, you know, with the director. Uh, is, it the, is it the blowing back sound, exactly. or is it the hitting the ground? Yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, give me kind of a variety of both. I come in with an idea. Sometimes I get to see a drawing. Sometimes all I get is a name. Um, and they might give me maybe a couple of adjectives to help out with that. Just a little bit more on fire. Like okay, uh, well, Clint okay. Eastwood-ish kind of, but I, yeah. Well, that would be a cool one. Clint Eastwood. Groovy. It's usually up to the, the creative team to let us know how big the alien is, or how far away the alien is, or how vicious the alien is, how scared we should be of this alien. And then you come across the hybrid commander as he um, is mad. And uh, Kevin says, what do they mean by that? We better find out. Gwen, can you track him? From a physical standpoint, it, uh, it can be grueling sometimes because you've got a lot of uh, video games are, are, you know, struggle and fight and, and screaming and, you know, dying and running and, and you have to go through those things in the booth. So vocally that can get, get exhausting after a while. Yeah. <laughs> For instance, Humongousaur, that can be very challenging because it's really more of a straight ahead voice. And when he gets mad or is yelling a lot, it can be very taxing on my voice. You were in big trouble. Whereas the other ones, like, you know, the DNA aliens or something, would you more You know, that's that is not hard on my voice, and it's it's a lot easier. And it's more bizarre and more fun, so I, I like doing those better. What's neat about the game is we get to see the characters kind of differently than we see on the on the series. I mean, Jet Ray, just to see him moving around in 3D is, is just, it's cool. It's just so different. Kind of on the show, we only get to see snippets of things. It's cool to see the characters moving around in space and moving around in these different environments. and just that it's interactive. I mean, just watching the show is one thing, but being able to kind of control and manipulate the characters is completely different. The character I'm looking forward to playing the most, Ben Tennyson as Ben, because that's me. Some of my favorite Ben 10 alien characters are um, Jet Ray. He's sort of a manta ray who can fly really fast. The character I'm most looking forward to playing in the game is Spider Monkey. Spider Monkey! <gasps> it wouldn't hurt to put these things a little closer together, you know? <laughs> There's something goofy and cool all at the same time about Spider Monkey. <laughs> what do I think uh, people's reactions to the game will be? Well, I obviously hope that they're, they're thrilled. Um, and I hope, we get, I hope we get people who don't know the show, as well as uh, the fans of the show. Primarily, you know, I want I want to do it for the the fans of the show. They're always they're always closest to my heart. I can't give away any spoilers, but pay close attention to the end of the game.